This is the last video that will go over the options of the Twitter Bootstrap WordPress plugin that we've developed. We're going to go over the progress bars. So there's single and stacked. Single will simply add a single progress bar. Here you can adjust the width, whether it's animated or not, striped, and the style. So if we update that. view the page you'll see that is 20% of this 100% width it's striped and it is animated again you can go to bootstrap go to the progress bars and see all the different options you have and the colors info success warning and danger now we're going to go add a stacked progress bar. And stacked meaning it's all going to be on one line. Like this one here. You'll see that we'll have a green one that's 20%, an orange one that's 30 and a red one that's 30%. Notice that it's also going to be striped and animated. So green, orange, and red. That covers all the options of the progress bar. Let's move on to spacing. So the spacing is pretty much just a short code that you can use to provide spacing between elements. And here you can say how much spacing you need between each element. So you can change that to whatever number you'd like. It's pretty simple. Let's move on to tables. So Bootstrap offers a lot of different tables and table styling. The short code pretty much inserts all the different options you have with the table. So let's just update this. See that we have two column, three row table that is condensed with the hover on and the border. So you have a striped yes, that means that after every field you go from gray to white to gray. There is a border around it, it is condensed and you get that hover effect when you mouse over. So we can you know, remove all of these if we'd like. update you see that you don't get any of the options it's just a straight table you can also insert more columns and rows by adding another let's say call name to five 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 update that and see another column was added so that covers tables now let's add some tabs update this see what it looks like so this is the jQuery tabs it's pretty simple and straightforward this is going to be the title of the tab and the content. Again, like with the accordion, you can copy one of these tab sections if you need a third tab. Update. So you get first, second, and third. That actually has the same content in there so you don't see it changing. Okay, on to the bootstrap tabs. So, this is similar to the other one. 
This one actually has a few more options that you can. Here you can actually set the location that you want the tabs to do below. So when you update that page, you notice that tabs moved under. This is a different styling. This actually, this also has two other locations. You can do left and right. So you can move these tabs around. So this would be on the left side. If you did right, these tabs would actually be over here. With these tabs, you can actually change this tabs to pills, and you'll get the pilled, the pilled tabs. Just a lot of different options. So that's pretty much the tabs. Again, like any other one, if you just copy a section, make sure the numbers correspond and you should be good to go. Moving on to the testimonial. Let's update it so we can see what it looks like. Nice area for your actual testimonial and from the author. So simply put the author of the testimonial and the content of the testimonial. That's the only options of that short code. So I have a toggle, which is pretty much like an accordion. You just toggle your content in and out. You have the title and the content of the title. Tool tips. So this is similar to the popovers. You can see as you mouse over, you get that tool tip off to the right. So just like with the popovers, you can set which direction, top, right, bottom, left, the text that's in the tool tip, and actually the link, or you know, you can put any kind of content in there that you'd like. Those are the only options for tooltips. And the last one is a well. So you can see the width is set to 50%, so it's only going to go half the page. So the well just adds this gray background with the rounded corners to any kind of content that you wrap this, this well short code around. So if you want it to go 100%, you just simply remove the width and update. You'll see that it goes across the whole width of the page. Again, with any other plugin, you can insert anything that you would like within the short code, not just regular text. So here we'll have a button within. So that goes over all the short codes and all the different options within this plugin. Hope you enjoy using it with our themes.